Devil, I want you to look into my eyes. Look into my eyes, Satan. And just know. Do you think I, I'm real? Do you think I'm real, Satan? I'll tell you the answer. Yes, devil, you know that I'm real. You know that I serve a great and mighty God. You know, devil, that I got potential. You know that I got talent. You know that I got desire. And you know, devil, that I got passion. Devil, I want you to look at something. You must be wondering, what does Poncho got in his hand? I got a photo. A photo of Reverend J.H. West. Take a look at it, devil. Take a look at Reverend Joseph Henry West. Look at this man, devil. He's one of God's children. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Satan, this is God's child right here in J.H. West. Reverend Joseph Henry West, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the greatest Tri-City Kentucky ministers of all time. Reverend Joseph Henry West will forever go down in history as one of Harlan County's greatest and ministers of all time. And do you know why? Because he never gave up. He never gave up on life. He never gave up on anything. At 23 years old, he was working. And a log a tree got into his heart. And he was in a hospital. He was about to die. But the Lord came to him. And said, now this is my last time. You either minister the gospel of Jesus Christ or I'll take your life away. It was that slick, it was at that second, that split second that Reverend Joseph J. H. West decided to minister. And do you know why? Because it was his calling to minister. It goes down in the bloodline. I'm a third generation minister. West to Pastor Princess Holland, even to my dad, Reverend James Ben Holland, and this passed to me, Reverend Joseph James Holland. But I finally know the reason why that I was not destined for Hollywood. I finally know the reason why that I was not destined for Emmys, Grammys, and all the music awards. Do you know why? I'll tell you why, Satan. The reason why is because God had a plan and purpose for me. And do I remind you of what you tried to do in 2012 to me, devil? I'll tell you what I, you tried to do. Ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2012, April of 2012, I took two pills called clindamycin. And devil, did you know what you tried to do to me? Did you know what you tried to do to me? Did you know? Do you know? I'm going to tell you what you tried to do to me, devil. Devil, you tried to kill me. You tried to destroy me even before I started to minister, which honestly I should have accepted in 2009, but that was my fault on that one. But in 2012, you tried to end my career before it even started. You tried to end my music career before it even started. You tried to end my livelihood before it even started. But you can't end it, devil. You can't end it. But ladies and gentlemen, in 2012, I had to be put in the hospital in Whitesburg, ARH, Kentucky. Whitesburg, ARH Hospital. I had to be put in there because the doctor said, well, I could give him a bag of medicine, but within 30 minutes he would pass away. So the doctor came in and told mom what was going on. They was possibly going to have to take my colon out. And just so happens by the grace of God, 
my colon did not get taken out. By the grace of God, Dr. Vell at the time, he got another doctor, Dr. Pellegrini. And he said, instead of taking his colon out, we'll vacuum all the bad bacteria get out. They did just that. Well, then they thought they was going to uh, go back in and do surgery because my liver was down. Mm -mm. See, devil, that's where you made a mistake. Devil, if you wanted to take me out, you should have killed me right then and there. There's one thing you didn't do, devil. There's one thing you forgot to do. You left me breathing. You left me alive. That was the biggest mistake of your life ever. And you know, every time, devil, you try to kill me, I only get stronger and stronger. For example, the crossroads, 2009 through 2011, the worst time of my life, the crossroads is. 2009 to 2011, I was going through some of the hardest times. 2011, I wanted to destroy it all. But an angel, when I went to drive the car in a dumpster, and I went to go crash to the dumpster, the angel came right there and stopped at the last second. See, devil, every time you think you try to get away with things, every time you think you try to destroy me, I only get stronger and stronger. For example, 2016, you caused division between mom's church. But what did you do? You ran like a coward, and you took your tail between your legs, and you ran because you knew that one-way missionary Pentecostal church was going to get stronger and stronger. And this man ministered at First Baptist Church in Lynch, Kentucky for 15 years, 1974 through 1989. This man is a legend. This man is a Hall of Famer. This man is an icon in Tri Kentucky. And do you know why, devil? Because you couldn't kill him. So the only way you could possibly even think of taking him out is by trying to get another pastor to come in place of him. But no, Reverend Joseph Henry Reyes could have ran like a coward. He could have took his tail between his legs and ran, but no, he didn't do that. He preached the gospel continuously, and he made it all the way up until he had to go to the hospital. He preached for two or three more times in the hospital before his life got taken away. But he made it into the kingdom of heaven. Reverend Joseph Henry West made it. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. He is a Hall of Fame material, a legend, and an icon. And now a lot of people say that I'm a YouTube legend and a social media legend. I appreciate that. I love the fact that people call me a social media icon and a YouTube legend. I love that. But... It's through the kingdom of heaven, through Jesus Christ, is the reason why that I still do music, still do ministry, still do everything. And devil, let me uh, tell you something. You think you sneaky and you smart? You think you got haters trying to hate arise on my horizon, trying to hate arise on my music rising up? You trying to hate arise on the ministry rising up? You can't kill First Baptist Church in Lynch, Kentucky. You can't kill One Way Missionary Pentecostal Church. You can't do it, devil. But I'll tell you this. If you think haterizers, if you think naterizers and negativizers is going to hate on her horizon, hate on his horizon, hate on my horizon, you got another thing coming, devil. You can't kill us. You can't destroy us, devil. This man's soul, this man's spirit has grown and has come through Pastor Princess Holland's veins. 
And now the same veins and the same bloodline and the same spirit that goes through this man, Reverend Joseph Kennedy West, that goes through Pastor Princess Holland, goes through me. The bloodline for pastoring started with Reverend Joseph Kennedy West. Started in Lynch, Kentucky. Most of you all that was born and raised in Lynch, Kentucky, Cameron and Benham, know this man, Reverend J.H. West. You knew that when he came to your neighborhood, things was going to happen. You knew that when he came into your house, when he came to the church, when he came to your place, something was going to happen in the spirit of God. If you don't believe me, take a look at his wife, for example, Louise Mitchell West. A lot of y'all know Louise Mitchell West that was born in Tri-City, Kentucky, Minimum Lynch. You know Louise Mitchell West. She was a bad, bad mother, a bad, bad woman. She was a bad, bad person. But she had a great heart and a good desire for the people. That's what made her so dangerous and made her so great. What do you think was going to happen, devil, when you try to have people that make fun of music that I do? What do you think was going to happen when you have people that try to make fun of ministry, of me and mom and Reverend Joseph Henry West? Come on, devil. Do you honestly think that your tricks work on us? No, 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 no. They don't work on us, devil. They motivate us. They get us stronger and better than ever. I'm going to tell you something, devil. If you think you can destroy me, why don't you just try it? If you was right here, if you was right here literally in front of me, I'd knock your teeth right down your throat. I would knock you into the middle of next week, devil. Ask those that's tried to mess with me over the years and see what they got. Ask those that was involved with me in the 2009 to 2011 crossroads. Ask those that's tried to test me before and won't they give you an answer of satisfaction. And should I be in the Hall of Fame someday, it will be worth the fight for this man, Reverend Joseph Henry West. We got family in the bloodline from the Hollands, the West, the Mitchells, the Boggses, all over the world. So don't think that I'm going to stop, devil. Just because now that I'm a YouTube and YouTube legend and a social media icon, just because you think I'm dead, just because I'm a YouTube legend and a social media icon, do I stop? No, 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 devil. No, that's where you're wrong. I will continue to minister in the word of God. I will continue to do music like 60 seconds. Buff, I wish remix. I hope you get fired. Smoke sessions. Those are the kind of songs that lead me to greatness. Those are the kind of songs that lead me to the rock. Those are the kind of songs that lead me to victory, Satan. Those are the kind of songs that's got me to the top. It has nothing to do with entertainment. It has nothing to do with negativity. It has nothing to do with bad talk. Don't get me wrong. Awards are great. Comments are good. It's not about views. It's not about popularity. It's not about entertainment. It's about seeing souls getting saved, people getting delivered, healed, and set free. And it's about making an impact. So I will continue to make an impact. I will continue to do music. Why? Because I'm Poncho Blazing ATM, the impact player. Whatever you want to call me from names such as the impact player, the hip hop preacher, sexy chocolate, caramel brown sugar, the motor. The Black Hammer, whatever you want to call me, that's great. That's fine with me. But one thing you can call me is a warrior for Jesus Christ. That's the one thing you can call me. 
at this point in time. And if I ever become a pastor someday, just no devil. I will go harder. I will go stronger. I will go faster. This man right here, Reverend Joseph Henry West, did great. My mom, pastor of One Way Missionary Pentecostal Church, does great. And I will do great. My dad, on the other hand, Reverend James Ben Holland, I can't vouch for him. I don't I can't vouch for Reverend uh, James Ben Holland, my dad, but I can vouch for myself. And someday, devil, you will get these fists in your mouth. And when I get my shot, when I go to heaven, be with Jesus Christ, I will say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. Thank you for Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for letting me repent. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you for taking all the negativity and making it a positive. Thank you for helping me pay my bills. Thank you, Jesus, for victory in life. And that is a fact if you know where I've been.